Ahoy and welcome back to the Crow's Nest everyone, your home for Sea of Thieves. I'm Captain Jay and we're just a few days away from the Sea of Thieves closed beta. The excitement is ramping up across the community as we get ready to jump into the game once again. But since we're still just a few days out, what better way to hold you over until the beta than with some Sea of Thieves news. Earlier this week, art director Ryan Stevenson sat down to talk to us some more about the world in Sea of Thieves. There's no denying the world and the visuals of the game are absolutely gorgeous, but there's much more to it than meets the eye. Tucked deep into the corners of the caves and throughout the world lie hidden locations waiting to be explored. Given the size and scope of the game, players who are fans of exploring and finding hidden secrets tucked away are going to have a great time searching for these out of reach locations. That's one part of the game I'm super excited for, exploring each island and looking beyond what the devs want us to see and instead find out what they're hiding. Looking at some of the new footage teased in the latest update, we see some new glimpses of the world in Sea of Thieves. From pirates who met their end hanging in a gibbet to a mysterious skeleton belonging to a creature. Now, before some of you say Kraken, remember that a Kraken, according to its legend, is a massive squid, and squids don't have internal or external skeletons. Not to mention, it's way too small. Instead, I think this is our first in-game clue and tease as to what kind of creatures we can expect to see in the game. After all, if you read between the lines in Ryan's dialogue from the video, it's all about exploration in the world, with tons of secrets and stories to be discovered. Some of those stories include the structures of a pirate base at Thieves Haven, or the wrecked ship that's washed up at Shipwreck Bay. Players who take the time to explore the wreck will begin to unravel the hidden history of the faded ship. And if you've ever taken a look at screenshots or art of the game and wondered what some of those rock carvings and paintings were, that's all part of the lore within the game. It's a chance for us players to explore the history of the indigenous life from before as well as any other secrets that have been tucked away. Again, I'm super excited to check out every nook and cranny of the world, as it seems the game will reward players for their efforts if they take the time to look around. With the closed beta coming up, this is our chance to jump back into Sea of Thieves and start exploring. If you haven't already pre-ordered the game, but still want to take part in the beta, there's still time to pre-order. I know I'll be recording as much footage as possible for all of you so that we have tons of content to explore and dissect before the game's release in March. And that's all for the latest in Sea of Thieves. What kind of exploration and secrets do you hope to find in game? Let me know in the comments section below. Thanks for checking out the video everyone. If you enjoyed it, make sure to drop a like, subscribe to the crow's nest, and hit that bell icon for the latest in Sea of Thieves. As always, I'm Captain J, and until next time, fair winds and following seas.